what we're going to do today is we're going to use a program called uh, Photopea. Um, it is a free program online. It's p h o t o p e a dot com. Uh, link is in the description below. Um, and before you do anything else, if you could like or subscribe uh, to this channel, we put these how-to videos on here. Um, often we have another channel um, also in the link below. Um, what we're going to do today is uh, create, and my reminders, um, a, an image for an e-commerce store um, that will be the same height and width of the other images so that you have some uh, symbiosis um, and uh, for the products in your store so everything so everything's not skewed okay so uh, I'm gonna show you an example so this particular uh, website here um, has um, you know some nice photos they all look fine when they're on the regular desktop but if you just enlarge notice how some of the images get really big some of them are small right so so what we're going to do is we're going to fix this this problem. Okay, so um, if we go ahead and um, enlarge this, we're going to work on this bullet rye one. We should actually fix the crown royal one because I think these might be fine. So let's just do a, a, a little test here. I'm going to go ahead and, and grab this image. Um, go ahead and click on the product. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty big. Look at that. So let's go ahead and um, save this image. It's a Crown Royal image. And then we're going to throw this into here, liquor images, blended whiskey. It may even be in there. It's not. Okay. So in order to fix that product, it looks great, right? But um, it's not beneficial to the other products in, in height and width, etc. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to Photopea, okay? And then we have this really cool thing. You can open PSD files, an XD sketch. You know, uh, this is GIMP. You know, if you use that program, uh, RAW is from your uh, video. Or, I mean, sorry, from from your phone or, or camera. Okay, so it's really cool. It opens up. It works in layers. It works kind of just like Photoshop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open um, that um, image. Okay, so here's that Crown Royal image. Let's go ahead and open that. And then if we notice, it's a, it's a great image, but the problem is it's not on uh, the background, right? The correct background. So we go image size here, and we look at it, it's 1280 by 1280, which is totally fine, right? But uh, for instructional purposes, what we're going to do is we're going to make this um, 600 by 600, okay? And a DPI should be 72, but we'll just put okay for now, okay? So then we're going to go ahead and select all. Um, use this guy right here to select tool. You can do control A or command A or uh, select and then all. Okay. So I selected it. I'm going to go ahead and copy it. Okay. Now I'm going to create a new um, file for my background. Right. So again, these are all weird things. You can cra grab their templates and stuff, but I'm just going to go ahead and grab uh, and make this 800 uh, by 800. So now I'm 800 by 800 at 72 DPI. Right. So that's what you want to stick at. This is the web size okay so now I'm finished and the backgrounds white so now I got this white background I got my tab here and I got a tab here so I copied that crown royal um, image from earlier so now I'm just going to go ahead and paste it so I can use edit uh, paste or I can uh, you know control V or command V on uh, Apple so now look at this it's beautiful right so now it's on the back of this white background it's centered and what I like to do usually is um, uh, you, can, you can add guides and stuff and to, to put the images exactly where you want. So let's just say for now this, this product is perfect the way it is, right? So I'm going to go to File and then I go to Export. And I'm going to export it as a JPEG, right? Um, and it has cool other options. You can do stuff. But I'm just going to do JPEG for now. Okay, and then here's the quality. 70%. No, I want 100% quality, right? So JPEG, um, 800, 800. And then let's go ahead and select save. And then that's going to download it over here. It downloaded it as new project because I didn't name it. So I should have named it like Crown Royal, whatever. So load that into my Shopify store, right? So in this case, it's Shopify. But you can use the same logic for any e-commerce store that you're using. Then that way it makes your images all the same height, all the same width, and it makes them look all pretty, right? 
So now I'm going to go into this um, Shopify store and I'm going to fix this image. So it's Crown Royal Blended Canadian Whiskey. So I go ahead and log into Shopify, which I already did, right, for this particular client. I'm going to go to Products. And I'll just type in Canadian. And it's going to search for my product. And there it is. Okay, so there's my product. Let's go ahead and click on it. And then I'll, and we're going to scroll down here. Okay. Here's a pretty image. Just click on it. And then you can delete it here. Okay. Uh, delete media. Yeah, it's gone. Um, you can also just, throw, when I clicked on the image, there's a little checkbox. You can also select that. So now I'm going to go ahead and upload um, that file that I had uh, for Crown Royal with the white space, right? So now I've got the white space for Crown Royal. Look, here's my pretty, here's the little box I'm talking about. So you can just do it here. And obviously, if you had more images, you can add more, you know, product images. He doesn't, so we're just not going to do that. So now this is this is finished. But last thing I always do is I just click on it. I add an alt tag, and I'll just call it Crown Royal Canadian Whiskey. Okay, save alt tag, and then I can close this window. I don't need to do any other saving because uh, when you do images, they automatically save in the background. So if I go back over to his website and I hit refresh, see how it's high right now? And now it's made it so that it is a smaller image. So what I need to do is to do it for the same thing for the rest of these products, okay? So now I'm gonna do the, uh, the bullet rye. So I don't, I don't know if I have an image for that, so I'm just gonna save it. And save image as, and it's in my liquor images. Let's go ahead and save it there. Okay, so I'll go back, and then I'm gonna go back to my Photopea document, okay, up here. And then I'm gonna open up that image. So file, open. And then let me grab the uh, new uh, liquor image, bullet rye. Okay, so now I've got the bullet rye. No, that's not it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Sorry. All right, so I want them all to be kind of like right in the center, right? So what's cool about this thing is it gives you the lines and everything. But if you notice, the Crown Royal bottle's back there still. So all you need to do is come over to layers, and then just you can hide it. So now I've got my white background. i got a nice bullet. So you can keep using this over and over again. What I would do also is save this file so you can come back in later and just add the layers to it, right? So I just go here. I go File. And I'll call it um, save as PSD, and then it's going to save my bullet PSD. If I call it my my layered project, I can call it that. But so now I've got my, and then I can open that later in uh, in Photopea, and then start re-adding, editing the layers again, right? So if I wanted to change the background to blue or whatever, I can just come in here and change the whole background as well. Select it, and then select the color and fill it. Um, so now I have this bullet rye picture. So I'm going to go ahead and go to export. I'm going to export it as a JPEG. Um, and then make sure it's 100% quality, right, and hit save. Um, there's one step that I usually do before I upload images is I go to tinyjpeg.com or tinypng.com, and then I compress the images before I upload. Shopify is really good about, and some of the other uh, programs out there like WooCommerce or WordPress are good about um, compressing the images when um, they upload the uh, files to uh, the system. So. Um, a lot of them are really good that way. Um, now, we're going to go ahead and go into Shopify. Because we have our wonderful image. We're going to do a little product search over here. Bully. Yeah, bullet rye. I think it's bullet rye, right? Let's see. Yeah, bullet rye. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the bullet rye picture. Uh, product, sorry. And I'll scroll down and see how it, the white space, see how it's cut off. So you don't want your image, you don't want to use just generic images from the web either too. Okay, so we'll go ahead and delete media. And then yeah, I want to delete it. And now I add my file. I go to my download where I have it because it downloads mine to the desktop. Get your JPEG here. Now if you look at this image, you're going to see it in a nice square white background. Okay, there's see the nice square white background. Click the image, add the alt tag. 
B O L E I T Rye uh, Whiskey, right? So just leave it that way. And we'll save the alt tag, close it, and it's updated. So now if I go over here, take a look, and I refresh, now I will have a similar image. So notice how now the text is lining up too, see? So I can use CSS and mess around with this, but it's going to have like a an effect on the rest of the website. So if I go in here and try to make you know this a certain size or this spacing, whatever, then I have to adjust the mobile uh, CSS and I got to change things. So it's just easier and it's a lot cleaner way to um, edit these images. So now it's just coming along nicely. I go ahead and go ahead and click on uh, the bullet rye, and then notice how it's it's a, it's a nice clean image. So it's a clean image. It's on the white background. Nice and clean, look at that. Okay, so now we're gonna do the two other ones and then we'll finish this video off. So I'm gonna do Buffalo Trace, I'm gonna do the Basil Hayden's, okay? So I'm gonna click on um, Basil Hayden's here. So you get the idea. <coughs> okay, so I got Basil Hayden's. And then I'm going to grab Buffalo Trace too, just while I'm here. Uh, when I save images too, I like to put hyphens in between them instead of forcing the browser to do extra work. So uh, if I save this image, I call it buffalo-trace.jpg. Okay. So now let me go over to uh, my Photopea document. I'm going to go ahead and open uh, my next image. And we're going to use Basil Hayden's. And notice Basil Hayden's is a PNG file. That's okay. We're still going to save ours as a JPEG. So let's go ahead and look at um, image size. So 686. I'll just leave this at its size and I'll just copy it. So I'll use this uh, little guy here. Make sure it's rectangle. Whatever. Select all. Copy. Right. Okay, so it came in a little smaller than we expected. So you just make sure that the layer is selected, right? So you have Buffalo Trace selected. And then you go to Transform Controls. Click on that guy. And then you're going to hold your um, Shift key down. Okay. And then grab a corner. And notice I can... If I don't have the Shift key down, it makes it all weird, right? So hold the Shift key down. And now I can make it... Yeah, that's pretty nice right there. And then drag it back to where it needs to go. There we go, nice and centered. And make it a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay, so now um, the image is, is selected. You want to select the checkbox so that it actually um, will um, select, select it. Okay. Now I've got my buffalo trace, and I always go ahead and just hide the old one anyway, just for um, good purpose, right? So now I'll double click here, or just call it buffalo trace. Say so, okay. It's kind of a pain to do it each time, but it's a file. Now I export it. Export as JPEG. Now I've got my Buffalo Trace 800, 800 max quality. Save. Got my Buffalo Trace now. My Basil Hayden. So now I need to go back into Shopify, and I'll go ahead and go to products, or you can go into WooCommerce or Wix or whatever you're using. And I'll type in Basil. So here's Basil, Basil Hayden's Dark Rye. Now I uh, wasn't sure which one I was doing. Let's see here. Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Okay, so we're doing this guy. Okay, and we scroll down, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, click on the image. And you can delete it here, right? Or you can click this little checkbox and then delete media. Delete. Add my media file, right? Go to Downloads. There is my Basil Hayden's, okay. Click on there, add alt tag, Basil Hayden's. Okay, save alt, close it. Let's go to our other product, Buffalo Trace. Scroll down, select it, ah, whatever. 
the uh, add file. Okay, we're going to go to Buffalo Trace. All right, here's our pretty Buffalo Trace image. Buffalo Trace. Save Alt. Close. Now, if I go back and I refresh, I now have wonderful lined up products. Okay, so you're gonna to want to do this for your whole store. Uh, it just makes your life easier. Like, see how they're all uneven, uneven. So just do it like this, and you'll save yourself a, a lot of time. Uh, okay, and uh, headache instead of trying to fix other stuff with uh, stylings. Okay, and that's it. Go through the rest of your products. Go ahead and upload them, and you will have a wonderful, beautiful website. Um, please subscribe for more how-tos on all kinds of stuff to do online. Shopify, WooCommerce, WordPress, BigCommerce, Facebook marketing, etc.